What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode. And friends, today's going to be a continuation of a series that we started a couple weeks ago on air compressors. And so this can be a lot of fun. This should hit it home for most of you watching these videos because a good quality air compressor is one of many must have items, must have items in your overlanding and off-road rigs. Now, after all, you need some way to air up your tires after airing down for a little beach driving. But as we know, driving on sand isn't the only occasion when airing down is beneficial. Airing down on slippery terrain or during a recovery are just two examples of when less air pressure or less tire pressure is going to be beneficial. So having a portable air compressor in your kit can help you in many different situations. And that's why, well, over the course of the last handful of years, with this particular uh, review that we're going to be doing here today, this is my Viair 440 Papa that's been in my kit for the last, you know, it's funny. We did a review of the Morflate uh, compressor no, that was two weeks ago. Anyways, I said I've had this for two years, and it's funny, I've ended up having this for two and a half years. But anyways, where I'm leading with this is, that's a couple years underneath my belt with this bad boy right here. And I wanna give you my thoughts on the build quality, the ease of use, and my experience with this out in the field. So how this video is gonna work out here is I'm gonna give you some of the specs and some of my experiences with this, and then we're gonna close off the video with a scorecard on this particular air compressor itself. But before we get into all the goodness, look friend, legend has it, if you click that like button down below. An off-roader is gonna stumble upon a secret map to the legendary, I know, legendary, Lost Trails of Endless Adventure. Yes, it is real and it is pretty awesome. So help that off-roader out and uh, hey, it's time. Pull up your seats and let's go. All right, starting off, we're gonna break down the basics specs of this thing here. But again, as I've shared with you, I've had this compressor now for two and a half years, and it has been a little workhorse. Uh, with the exception of blowing a fuse, I've had zero problems with this thing. But anyways, so here we go right here. So as we can see, this is a very dirty and used compressor. So we're talking about 12 volt power, which means you can use this pretty much anywhere that you take your vehicle. You also have a 25 foot cable, which is right in here, which is going to allow you to air up your tires. And it actually works out pretty good with a longer vehicle like my Gladiator, because uh, of course you have this attached to the front with your battery. So with the hose, you're able to get to the back wheels with it pretty effortlessly. Now it will not fit I can't reach my trailer tires from where the where it's attached to the front of the truck. So I have to basically go uh, connect this to the batteries that are in the turtle back itself. But anyways, there's a 25 foot hose that is quite handy itself. Now it has a permanent magnetic motor, which has a max draw of 44 amps, max working pressure of 150 PSI, and a duty cycle of 33% at 100 PSI. Now this puts out three CFM, and as we spoke in the last video, uh, valve stems in our tires can only take two CFM, so which means that there's only one CFM that's basically not getting used with this thing. So as we spoke a moment ago, the compact size of this thing is really ideal for overlanding off-roading. It's just 10.87 inches by 5.83 and 6.54 inches. And the thing only weighs 12.65 pounds. So again, we're talking about something with a small footprint. Now, additionally, this air compressor has fast inflation rates. For example, it can air up a 30 seven inch tire from zero to 30 psi in less than five minutes that's not bad but it can also run at 150 psi for up to 15 minutes at a time now in addition to the basic specs that i just shared this unit comes with a host of features that make it a very reliable and easy to use compressor so we're talking about a five to one inflator deflator air hose with a handy inline 120 psi gauge and a three-piece inflation tip kit you have a 50 amp inline fuse holder which is right here, uh, and a thermal overload protector. You have dual battery clamps, uh, vibration resistant diamond plate sand tray to keep the dirt and the motor uh, out of the ground, which it actually does come in uh, quite handy. It also helps to reduce the noise as well. And it comes with a carrying case, as we pointed out 
or no, we actually didn't point out the carrying case with dual compartments, one for the air compressor and one for related accessories. And it does come with a one year limited warranty. Now let's talk about my experience with this uh, compressor over the last handful of years. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, when we were reviewing the Morflate uh, 10.6 compressor, this compressor has been an absolute workhorse. I mean, it does what it's supposed to. And again, with the exception of blowing a fuse, I've had zero things that have gone with it. Now, I will say this, when you first get it, when you're running, you wanna watch out, because if, if this right here is not screwed in there tight, it will vibrate and fall out. So I just wanna make sure that that is screwed in there tight. But other than that, uh, this thing has been an absolute workhorse. It does what it's supposed to. Now, as I shared on the last video, uh, from my experience, uh, I again, I've never really timed myself, but I would guess four tires, it was taking me somewhere around 20, 25 minutes. And then when I add in the two tires and the turtle back, maybe, I guess with running around total, you know, 30, 35 minutes or so. So again, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump outdoors, kind of similar to what we did last time with the Morflate. We're gonna go outdoors, I'm gonna deflate the tires, and then I'm going to uh, inflate them utilizing this. And you're gonna see firsthand how the sound of this, you're gonna see, we're gonna do temperature reading to see how uh, hot this does get, which I can tell you from experience, this does get pretty toasty. Um, and then, uh, yeah, at the ultimately at the end, we're going to put a scorecard up here so you can see how this compares to others on the marketplace. Here we are out in the middle of a another kind of ominous looking parking lot that has certainly seen better days. Normally, I'm across the street, but there's a bunch of cars and trucks there, so we cannot park there at the moment. But we are out here, and so you know the routine. What we're going to do, I have the Vier 440 Papa right here, and I'm going to deflate the tires down to 9 PSI. Last time I did it to 10 PSI, but unintentionally went to 9. So again, with all these compressor comparisons, we're going to go down to the same. So I'm going to drop the air pressure down to 9 PSI. Now with this one here, I don't have the luxury of deflating all the tires like I did with the more flat one. So I'm going to do it like I've been doing for the last two and a half years since I've had this compressor. I start the vehicle up. I have these little things right here and I watch the sensors inside the truck and it's going to get me right about where I need to be. From there what we're going to do is we're going to see how long it takes for me to go from 9 psi up to 41 psi as what we did with last week's test with the Morflate 106. And that's what we're going to do with every subsequent uh, compressor uh, challenge or comparison or review that we're going to do from this point forward. So you know the meaning behind it. In case any of you say, well, Alex, why do you go down to 9 PSI? Well, because the first one we did was, that's where it ended up to being. And so we can compare apples to apples. We're going to keep it that way. And uh, so that said, I'm going to start the vehicle and we're going to start the air down process. I have multiple cameras here, the R5, this GoPro, and that one right there. So we have plenty of angles to keep you guys satisfied from every different angle. So here we go. Okay, we are close enough. We have uh, that passenger front tire pressure, or sensor rather, has been acting a little wonky, and so it shows 13, but I took a manual reading, as we can see here. It is now just a smidge underneath 10, so close enough. The rear tire uh, bumped up from nine to 10. I'm just gonna say, let's go with it. So now I'm going to, I have the compressor already set up. I'm gonna attach it to the battery, and we're gonna start on the passenger side and work our way around.
All right, friends, in there we go. Um, as I'm out here in the field, I have no idea how long that took. It definitely does feel longer than the Morflate uh, 10 6 from last week, but of course, as I'm editing this or putting the, uh, the video, because I'm able to look at the raw data from where I initially start the compressors to when I do my little thing here to determine how quick uh, or the total time it takes to inflate the tires or deflate them for that matter but again it definitely took longer now one thing that i was thinking about here is we're going to be doing some comparisons coming up here and one of the things i'm not so for example the compressor like the uh, the morflate the 106 i use no additional accessories so part of these evaluations which i'm going to have to put into consideration here is in order for whatever the deflate time uh, that this video ended up being or that this compressor ended up being if i were to use the deflate function that comes built into that nozzle there i would be deflating one tire at a time before moving to the next therefore taking the total time to deflate all the tires much longer i'm using an additional accessory and so these right here now i'm sure they come these tire uh, deflation things or deflators come in different uh styles and costs and all the other front stuff i'm pretty sure i spent like 80 or 100 bucks for these things so i think that's only fair for me to consider into the value of this because if you're going out there and thinking about this compressor which is a rock solid compressor i've used it for two and a half years absolutely love this compressor but in order for you to get the times the deflate times that i'm going to put on the screen here that has to factor in that i used an additional accessory here to speed that up so just out of fairness i was thinking about that as the tires are being uh, deflated up but anyway so this has been the uh the vire 440 papa let's take a look at the scorecard My friends and there you go this was a two and a half year process getting to where we are with this review with this compressor right now again this compressor has done has really done my rig well over the years it has done what it's supposed to now granted it's not the fastest in terms of uh, airing up and so forth, but for what it is, the size, it has done a great job. Now it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. So if you found some value with this video, friends, we sure would appreciate you crushing the heck out of the like button down below, hitting the subscribe button because we'd love to see you again. And last but not least, hit the bell notification so that every single time we come out with a new video like the one that you just saw there, well, YouTube's going to just do its whole thing and give you a heads up that that video is ready for you to watch that said friends i'm going to be shutting off my camera so you get out there stay healthy and find your adventure